think it's so special. Um, without the I Have a Dream speech, you can't have a Barack Obama serving as the first ever African American nominee of uh, the Democratic Party uh, and to be our presidential candidate. Um, if, you, if you follow Barack Obama's speeches, he, he often talks about the impact of the Civil Rights Movement. He often talks about Dr. King's speech and, and the fierce urgency of now. And uh, Barack has taken up that mantle from Dr. King. And I think he's really building on the experiences of so many in the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. King and, and even Shirley Chisholm, who ran for president in the 70s uh, without a major party behind her, but who said, yes, we can. And Barack Obama saying, yes, we can. So it's special, it's significant, and it's relevant that Barack is accepting the nomination uh, on the eve of this anniversary, and I just think it's magical. What does the nomination of a Barack Obama mean for uh, the future of Tony Thurmond? Well, uh, I think it means a lot for uh, lots of young people like myself who want to serve in public service. Um, you know, growing up, I often wondered, would I ever see uh, an African-American president? Um, I often wondered, uh, would I have the opportunity uh, to seek higher office at that level? Um, the fact that Barack Obama is our nominee, the fact that America has embraced him as they have, uh, lets me know that anything is possible uh, for myself or for anyone who wants to live the dream of serving this country. Um, and it's exciting. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to do everything I can to help Barack get elected president and then help him successfully heal this country.